Hi friends, recently when I opened my Gmail, I saw a warning telling me that I would stop receiving emails starting January 8th because I had run out of storage. And starting on 8th January, emails sent to me will bounce back to the sender and can be recovered. So get more storage. The easiest solution to solve this problem is to get additional storage, but that costs money, which I'm guessing most of us don't want to spend. So what can we do instead? Well, in this video, I will show you a step-by-step -step process of freeing up lots of space and solving your storage problem forever. There are many tutorials which shows you how to free up space by deleting spam, thrash or large attachment mail. And by doing so, we can free up some space, but it usually doesn't amount to much as the main issue lies with your cloud storage. So to begin, you must know that all the data from Gmail, Photos and WhatsApp gets backed up in Google Drive. To get an idea of it, open your Google Drive by tapping on the Google Drive app. Here also, you will see a warning message if you're running out of space. Then tap on the three lines in the top left corner and you can see here that the storage is full and that I have fully utilized the 15 gigabyte storage space. Now tap on the storage, then tap on more details and here you can see the storage used. You can see the maximum space is used by Google Photos, followed by WhatsApp, Gmail and Google Drive. From here also you have the option to clean up space and by clicking on it, you can see the amount of space you can free in your Google Drive. Here in my case, you can see that I can get about 1.5 gigabytes space by cleaning the spam, unsupported videos and blurry photos, but it is not much. However, by cleaning large photos and videos, I can free up about 4 gigabytes, but these photos and videos will get deleted from the cloud storage. So if I don't want to delete these photos and videos from the cloud storage, what should I do? There are two options for these. The first option will help you free up a lot of space, while the second option will ensure you never run out of storage. So stay tuned until the end of the video for a permanent solution. The first is to reduce the quality of the photos and videos that get backed up. By default, your photos are backed up in original quality, but Google offers two other options to backup photos. The first is Storage Saver and second is Express. By choosing either of these options, your photos and videos gets compressed and backed up, which saves a lot of space. The photo and video quality gets reduced, but for me it's not an issue, as the original quality photos are already there in my phone, and I also back up the phone photos to a hard drive regularly. Here's how you can change the backup quality. To do so, open the Google Photos app. Then, tap on your profile icon in the top right corner. Then tap on Photo Settings. Then tap on Backup. Then tap on Backup Quality and select Storage Saver or Express. The Storage Saver compresses your photo to 16 megapixels from which good quality print up to the size of 24 inches by 16 inches can be printed and your video gets compressed to HD. In the Express setting, the photos are compressed to 3 megapixels from which good quality print up to the size of 6 inch by 8 inch can be printed and your videos gets compressed to SD. I will show you by selecting Storage Saver option and this will ensure that all future photos are backed up at a reduced quality. So that solves the future problem of backup. However, what about the photos that have already been backed up in original quality? You can also reduce the quality as per your present setting, but you cannot change this through the app. But don't worry, there's a way around it. To reduce the quality of previously backed up photos, open your web browser and go to photos.google.com. Then tap on the three lines in the top left corner. Then scroll down and tap on settings. Then here tap on manage storage. Then here scroll down and tap on convert existing photos and videos to storage saver. Then here on the top you will see the warning, switching your photos and videos from original to quality to storage saver quality. And down here you will see this warning which says that compressing the photos and videos cannot be undone. Tap on this and then tap on compress existing photos and videos. And then the compression process starts. This process may take some time depending on the number and size of your photos. In my case, it took about 6 to 10 hours as I started it around 8 p.m. and checked it the following morning. 
the process runs in the background so you can continue using your phone while it compresses your backed up photos. As a result, I was able to free up around 5 gigabytes of space. You can check this by opening your Google Drive app. And here you can see out of the 15 gigabyte space, I have only used 9.99 gigabytes, whereas when we initially started, the drive was full. Further, instead of storage saver, if I had chosen the express setting, then I would have made a space about 10 gigabytes. Now, when I open my Gmail, you can see that there is no more warning of the storage being full. This solution will address your space issues for a long time, but over time, the compressed photos that continue to back up will eventually fill up your Google Drive. At that point, compressing the photos further won't create more space. However, there's an additional trick that ensures you'll never run out of storage. If you want to learn about it, keep watching the video and don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. Now to start with, you must have a second Google account. So if you don't have one, you need to create it. I will show you this process using a different account named Michael so that you can follow along easily. And I will be creating a second account named Sandy. So to create a Google account, you can follow along with me. To do so, open a browser other than the Chrome browser so as to avoid being signed into the already open Google account. I will be using the Firefox browser. If you want, you can also install the Firefox browser or use any other browser and follow the process. Here in the search box, type Google sign in. Then tap on sign in. Here, as you are making a new account, tap on create new account, then choose the option for personal use, child or business. I will click on personal. Then here, enter your name. Then here, enter your last name. But as this is optional, you can leave it as it is and tap on next. Then enter your birth date. and then gender, then tap on next. Then here, create your username. Then tap on next. Then here, create your password using a mix of letters, numbers, and symbols. Then enter the password again to confirm. Then tap on next. Then here, enter your phone number for verification. Then tap on next. Then enter the received OTP here. Then tap on next. Then here enter your earlier email address for recovery email. Then click on next. Then here scroll down and tap on I agree to the terms and condition and your second account gets created. After creating the second account, open the Google photo app. Then tap on your profile on the top right corner then tap on this arrow. Then here tap on add another account. And tap on here. Then here add the email address of the account you just created. And tap on next. Then enter the password. And tap on next. Then scroll down and tap on yes, I am in. Then tap on I agree and you will be signed into Google Photos with your second created account. Here tap on the profile. Then click on this arrow. Then select the main account. Now tap on the profile. Then tap on photo settings. Then click on backup. Then under the account and storage, tap on the profile, which is of the main account. And you will see the main account and the second account. Select the second account and the backup account will be your second account. And it has the full unused space of 15 gigabytes. Now go back and you can see here that your photos are being backed up to the second account. Now the final and an important step remaining is to enable partner sharing. This will allow the second account to share photos with the main account. When the main account accepts the photo sharing invitation, it will also have the option to auto save the photos. The benefit of this feature is that the auto saved photos won't take up space in the main account storage. 
To enable partner sharing, open Google Photos on the second account from the Firefox browser. Here in the search box, type Google Photo. Then tap on here. Then tap on the three lines in the top left corner. Then scroll down and tap on setting. Then here scroll down and tap on sharing. Then tap on partner sharing. Here leave as it is. Then tap on next. Then here enter the email of the first account. Then click on next. Then click on send invitation. Then invitation will be sent to the main account. Then open the Google Photos of the main account. Then tap on accept. After this, you will get an option to share back your photos. Leave it as it is and tap on confirm. Then here you have the option to auto save. Tap on it. From here choose save all photos. Then tap on done. Then here you can see that photos are saving automatically. After this, the process is complete. Once this process is complete, the photos backed up to the cloud storage of the second account can be viewed from your main account. However, it will not be taking up any additional space of your main account. For demonstration, I deleted all the photos in my phone and cloud storage and took eight photos with my phone camera from my computer screen. Now, when I open the Google photos of the second account, you can see that the eight photos in my phone has been backed up. Now let's see how much space these photos has occupied. Here you can see that it has occupied 13.2 megabytes from the 15 gigabyte storage space. Now let's open the Google Photos of the main account. And here also you can see the eight photos. Now let's check the space occupied. And here you can see that zero megabyte space has been occupied. So you can see that the photos has been backed up also and the main account storage space is also not utilized. In this way, if the storage of the second account ever fills up, you can simply create a third account and enable partner sharing, which will ensure you'll always have enough storage. Hope this video solved your problem. If so, then please do like and subscribe to my channel.